The sound in this video was processed by Isotope. Guitar effects for this video provided by Boss, Ibanez and Alex Z. In this video, everything you wanted to know about Gavrosh 10H from Urasov. What's the price? What's inside of the box? What are the features? How big and heavy it is? We'll open the unit and take a look inside. We'll listen to what it sounds like, check it with different pedals, and test the extras. And it's all coming up right now! Hello everyone, here is Max, and in this video we're gonna be looking at Gavroche 10H, which is a 10 watt tube amplifier from Urasov. You'll find all specs at urasov.com. It's worth mentioning that it has a power soak, so you can practice without a cabinet just by using headphones. You can switch between 2 or 10 watt modes. It runs on EL84 power tubes. It has a reverb built in, and this is not a spring, but a digital reverb. You can order the amp right here, they provide worldwide shipping. Or if you happen to be in the UK, you can go to urasov.co.uk, and they may have it in stock as well. This model has been around for like 10 years now, and I've got this particular unit pretty much by accident, because it was traveling all around Germany for a while. Ok, let's open the box. Well, this thing doesn't belong here, it is actually a carrying bag for a pedal board. In the box we've got a fuse, which is good to have, a speaker cable and a power lead, a foot switch, it's nice that it comes with an amp, and there's a cable with it as well. Good, let's take the amp out. Oh, look at this, there's a manual and it is in English. This is the first Eurasov product I see that has an English manual with it. Manufactured on March 21st, 2018. And that is everything we've got in the box. Ok, let's take a close look at the amp. Here on the front we've got a power switch. And there is no standby, so this is a single power switch here. And then you can choose between 10 watt mode, which is louder, and 2 watt mode, which is quieter. You can turn off the speaker if you're planning to use the amp with a headphones output. There are two separate volumes for clean and lead channels. 3 band EQ, pretty standard. Clean lead button to switch between two channels. And for the lead channel you can choose between high and low gain modes. Input, foot switch connector, there is a digital reverb built in, presence control, headphones output with a dedicated volume control, and there is a speaker simulation on it. Auxiliary input, and this is a 6.35mm jack, and the FX loop. On the other side, Two outputs for 4 and 8 ohm speaker cabinets, and this is new because the older model only had one 8 ohm output. And this is a power lead connector, and basically that's it. There is a small problem with the controls I have to tell you about. Just look at these knobs, they are all chrome and shiny, but it is actually pretty hard to tell how these are set, even in a bright light situation like this one. Just imagine how hard it is gonna be to figure out your settings while, let's say, playing a show. Let's check how heavy this amp is. Almost 7.5 kilo, or over 16 pounds. And speaking of size, it is this big. And as we always do, Let's open the unit and take a look inside. Ok, what do we have here? JJ tubes. The first one is a soft tech tube made in Russia. The other two are 12x7JJ. And power tubes are EL84 from JJ as well. 3 12AX7, 1287, and 2x EL84. The output transformer is classic tone 
made in the USA. Um, this is the power transformer. Here's what we have inside. This must be the load, the power soak, so to speak. There are even some SMDs here on this board. This must be the reverb module. Alpha potentiometers. The enclosure is also shielded on the bottom. Now that you've seen this, don't try it at home. It will warn the warranty and you can actually hurt yourself if you don't know what you're doing exactly. Good, now let's listen to what it sounds like. I'm using a cabinet from Eurasov with one Mutich 30 speaker inside and the mic is a SUM57. And here's what happens when I increase the volume on the clean channel. That was full volume. Let's turn it down a half. If I turn the volume down even more, the sound cleans up completely. Ok, let's go back to that sweet spot. And here is what the built-in reverb sounds like. Ok, let's go to the lead channel, gain is at maximum and volume is at about 2 o'clock. All EQ knobs stay at 12 and presence at 0. <laughs> And here is the high gain mode. Gain is set to 12 o'clock, volume to 11. Thank you. 
Back to the low gain mode with the same settings. And now, let's try some more aggressive sound. And finally, let's check how this amp takes different pedals. We're on the clean channel and the volume is at 12 o'clock. Good, let's check everything we haven't checked yet. Power soak, headphones output with the built-in cabinet simulation, auxiliary input and the effects loop, well and of course the foot switch.
notice that the playback sounds like it is also going through the cap seam. That was pretty much everything I wanted to check, and now it is time for a recap. But first of all, if you're still watching, don't forget to write the rebel from Paris in the comments. Okay, so we've got a 2 channel 10 watt tube amp with quite a few extras, and it's bigger than a lunchbox. I would say it's a half size of a standard amp. With all its features, it's a good choice for practicing at home, but it is also loud enough for gigs, and it is very pedal friendly. On the other hand, EQ controls are shared between two channels, which makes it kind of hard to find the right balance. I've also noticed a loud pop noise when switching channels with a button on the front of the amp. It doesn't happen when using a foot switch though. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button right there, and don't forget about the bell button to get notifications every time I'm posting a new video. A special thanks goes to people in the list below. Those are my patrons. If you want to say thanks, hit the button on the left and join the list. Well, that's it for now. Have a good day and I'll see you soon.